Welcome back my people. So today guys, you know, we're going to be playing this clip here. I just want to ask Cora Bidi again. I just want her to remind us on this day today, April the 18th, 2023, after one year of her, everything that happened, you know, in her marital home. I just want to ask her today to tell us, would she go back? to her old life would she go back to her ex first and foremost even if you used twenty thousand dollars to dash me to go back you know go happen i said what i said some of you are trying to make it seem as if no i'm now dead am i dead do you think i'm gonna go back to abuse do i look dead to you if you try to paint that nonsense image of oh my god look look at how she's suffering now she's crying she could look at the man the man is on cruise control she's crying let me tell you for free now i chukufunaya obidi first of her name last of her kind princess of oshimili north local government ibuzo princess i am not suffering okay Divorce is not easy, but I'm not suffering. If you're trying to paint that, all oh, you men, <laughs> the man is on cruise, the woman is crying. Let me tell you something now. If you are in an abusive relationship, do yourself a favor and get out. People who are single know they die. People, they die. Every other day, people, they die for marriage. So stay there and stay and keep collecting abuse and saying, ah, look, <laughs> Cora is crying now. <laughs> she was happy before now, she's crying. Let me tell you something. I'm not here trying to make you see a oh, lawyer out of your marriage. Oh, they'll say, oh, all the divorced women are always trying to lure people out of their marriage. You better gather some muzzle and give yourself some self-love. Don't let any man make you feel like you cannot survive. Don't let any man make you feel like you cannot survive. I've been seeing a lot of people on the blogs. Oh my God, look at her, she's crying now. <laughs> I thought you said make you no divorce. <laughs> See your life? See your life? You cannot open your, your mouth and start telling any woman what she and she, she can live with and what she cannot live with. It's not your place. It's not your place. The entire side of her face like this. The entire side, dead. Everybody has a threshold. But it's just funny how I saw them, most of them are Nigerian men. <laughs> most of them are Nigerian men coming to tell me, uh, look at her, look at her crying now. <laughs> They're always the first ones. <laughs> look at her crying now. No man can take that. No man can take that nonsense please go and keep your own wives in the jail cell that you put her and leave me alone leave me alone marriage is an institution that everybody that wants to enter is free and anyone that wants to exit is also free do not make anybody feel bad about it everybody tries and some people fail at some things and that's okay in life that is fine that's perfectly fine but when something is directly detrimental to your health your well-being you are there saying i want to i want to make it work uh, but it's funny how as soon as these blogs why do they have to take only the parts that suits their story they'll take the path that suits only their story and chop it all up spin it around spin doctors spin it around to their to their to their benefits <laughs> i thought she was a strong woman look at her crying now yes of course i can air my linen if i'm feeling bad i tell my fans if i'm feeling happy my fans know anything that i'm going through my fans know my fam my friends and family know anything i'm going through of course yes so you cannot just come on my page 
check the part where I was saying, oh my God, this is hard. I start saying, <laughs> I told you, I told you that she's, she's suffering. You better stay in your marriage. You are suffering there. You use it as an opportunity to keep other women in cages. Keep them until they have stroke. Keep them until they, they, they die in the name of, of marriage. I mean, I don't have any personal vendetta in it towards anybody. If your marriage is sweet, please, marriage is the most beautiful thing if you're with the right person and you're enjoying yourself. And if it becomes bad, then it is what it is. If you try your best, it is what it is. But if you, me, I'm going to tell, I'm going to, I'm going to write my book. I told you guys, right? I'm still right, going to write my book. That indeed came to pass. Cora Obidi did write her book like she told us she was going to. Uh, if most of you read it, most of you purchased it, and if you haven't, it is still available on Amazon. That is called Cora is Life. It's her book where it tells you um, a lot of what she has been through all the way from Lagos, Nigeria to even join her marriage. So definitely get a copy of that. So you heard it, right? Even if you dash me $20,000, it ain't gonna happen, okay? It ain't gonna happen. You know, we did a video about the benefits of Cora Bidi moving forward, but I wanted to kind of, you know, give a little swing here today so that we can remember some of the reasons why it is so beneficial for Cora Obidi to continue moving forward. And she just had the opportunity there just to remind us again of the reason why she wouldn't go back and the reason why we are moving forward. It's a movement and we move.